know what it is, but New York seems to put out like a lot of funny people. If you grow up in New York City or, or you know, New York State, and you want to be a stand-up comedian, I got to say, there must be a whole lot of competition. Why? Because there's guys like Chris DiStefano who are absolutely freaking hilarious. Fortunately, Vegas knows how to pluck them and put them on stage. How are you doing, Chris? Good. How are you? Um, nice to be here. I, I broke into somebody's house because New York, um, there's no police here anymore. So I've broken into someone's house and I'm, <laughs> it's a pleasure to be doing this interview with you. I, I heard actually that some of the Russian oligarchs, there's people squatting in their house. So it's kind of like what you're doing right now. So yeah, yeah that's, I can't blame you. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, the, the, I know the Russian oligarchs. What is, I don't even know what an oligarch is. Does anybody know what an oligarch is? It's a pretty funky word. I, I had to Google it exactly. You know, why, why do they get that special name? Because they're wealthy. Uh, but yeah, ba I, basically, I would say they're not super popular right now. And they have a lot of money. I know those two things. Sounds like the mafia. I know a few of those guys. <laughs> I bet you do. TMI, though. Be careful, my friend. So listen, you're coming. Speaking of mafia, you're coming to Las Vegas, playing at the win. This is a yes. legendary property. You're going to light up that room, man. It all happens at 8 o'clock. If you start the show on time, are you like a start the show on time kind of guy? Are you going to be like, wait for it, wait for it, and start at 9.30? I'm one of those comedians or people that like, I just go with the flow. Like, I never do a sound check. I never do a lighting check. I'm all like, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. So I'm like, whenever they tell me to go out there, I'll go out there. If they want to hold it, they can hold it. If they want me to go out there at right at 8 o'clock on the dollars, people are sitting down, I'll do that too. I just don't care because at the end of the day, nothing matters. Nobody cares. And that's a nice lesson to know because you know what it is? I cut from one of the last generations that got punched in the face. I was punched in the <laughs> face so many times in my life growing up in Brooklyn that like, I know I'm irrelevant. I know. But now it's like everybody's a narcissist. All these people are like, it's about me. It's about my Twitter retweets and my likes. I'm like, it's not stupid. Uh. Okay. Nobody cares about your dumb opinions. My father always said, he always said, he said, Twitter is just it's still going to be the worst thing for our country. And I was like, why? He goes, because oh. not everybody's supposed to be talking. I was like, yeah. Yes. Oh, my God. I'd love to meet your dad. I, dude, I'm so with you on everything you just said. In fact, we talked to a WWE star uh, just a moment ago, and he was telling me how ruthless wrestling fans are on Twitter. Some people just should zip, zip, zip it, right? Yeah. I mean, I don't care what anybody – I mean, yeah, the, the fact – I don't even look – the be most beautiful, by the way, if you are a big fan of my father's, um, you can meet him. Yeah. Uh, you can meet if you if you'd like to meet him. He'll, he's at uh, he's at the Staten Island Hospital Dialysis Center because he can't stop eating black <laughs> and white cookies. So if you're into a guy on dialysis, he's your guy. Um, but yeah, I know it's just like I, the best thing I've done in my life is now I just post things on Instagram or Twitter or whatever, and I don't look at the comments at all. I don't respond to someone like you can yes. say, "Hey, your kids are so ugly." I just wouldn't, I genuinely wouldn't care at all. I'm like, whatever, you live in that prison, not me. I mean, I just broke into this person's beautiful home, so who cares? It is a nice, nice spiral staircase. I like your technique, you know, because I think mm. when you are on social media and you feel your blood pressure raise, it, it, it's a problem. Yes. By the way, does your dad's, what's your dad's name? Because now I'm kind of interested now that I know he, My he's on dialysis. My dad's name is Tony DiStefano, also known as Tampa Tony, also known as Tony Balls with the Z. And um, yeah, uh, he is. Yeah, he want he would come to Vegas. He would be coming to Vegas, but he um, I don't know that he's legally allowed to fly anymore. Um, so he uh, he won't be there. But I mean, we could FaceTime him if you guys want to come to the show. FaceTime him. It sounds kind of fun. Do you have one of your babies in the background? Because I know you have yeah, three give, little give ones, don't you? Just, just give me, just oh give me my Violet. Oh my gosh, let us see. Look at, look at, look at Violet. Look at, look at little Violet, everybody, <gasps> huh? Look at little oh, Violet. I know, right? Stop the Doesn't she look like Vladimir Putin? Violet. She's a little, <laughs> she looks like Putin. Ooh, look oh at my gosh, she does. she's got the, the chub face and she's, she's she a chubby seems face. like she has, a, yeah, a little bit better of a disposition, though. She seems kind of happy yeah. and, and full of joy. We're gonna get her. We're gonna get her shirtless and on horseback, and then we're gonna take that picture. <laughs> Are you a little oligarch? You're a little oligarch. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at her oh, feet. Chris. Look at her fat. Oh look at her fat sausage. Yeah, feet. show the feet. <gasps> She's got little, fat sausage feet. Little oh. fat feet. I'm dying. Listen, you're fatty. They're so. Can we just have you on like for the rest of the show? Because you're killing me. Yes. Your, your 
Tupperware. That is Your legit. Tupperware the video Tupperware I give is my five freaking hilarious. For school every day. We just think it's hilarious. I, that, that was an Wait, honest mistake. I know it was. Oh yeah, no, I've spent ten years trying to craft the perfect comedy jokes, get people to come out to my shows because of jokes I've tried to write all through the night. And the thing that I'm most well known for is just me sounding like an absolute idiot and then putting it out on the internet. And now people will bring tubblewares and throw tubblewares at me. Somebody threw a tubbleware off a double decker bus in Nashville at me last week. So, whatever. It, it's kind of now. It's like your brand, my friend. If you would like to see. Chris, be an idiot live. You can do so. He's going to be on stage at the Win Encore Theater. Guys, what a gorgeous room. I love that room. Eight o'clock tickets are still available. Check them out. Thanks, Chris. Thank you. Bye.